Hey guys, it's D1. Jasper is hanging out with me here too. Um, so this video is going to be on setting up your own Amazon affiliates account. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen my beginner's guide to making money online video, uh, the link will be up here somewhere. Um, go check that out just so you're familiar with the entire process of affiliate marketing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screen share and actually set up an account with you uh, step by step so at least you can get yourself going and getting an affiliate link uh, set up. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in a second. Thanks. All right, so we're on Google's website right now and all you want to do is type in Amazon Affiliate, hit enter, and you can see that the first link is Amazon Associates, which is Amazon's affiliate program. So you're just going to click that. You get to their landing page here, which describes their different commission structures. Uh, you can go in depth here later. I'm not going to in this video. But just as an example, it's showing, uh, you know, 5% on digital entertainment, 8.5 on Kindle books, 4% on electronics, and so on. Uh, again, pretty much any category you can think of on Amazon, there is an affiliate program. Uh, they'll have it listed very clearly on their website. Uh, we'll save that for another video. So all you want to do is you want to go to join now for free. And... Uh, I'm not going to go through the complete sign up process, so I'm just going to make a fake uh, email address here. So let's go fake at gmail.com as an example. Um, and then I'm a new customer. Hopefully, this email address is not taken. Yeah. Um, okay, great. So you're going to go through this entire process here. Um, 5, And then you're going to go to create account. Oops. Okay, great. So the next page is basically your payment information. Now, I am not an accountant or a bookkeeper, so uh, I can't give you tax advice. What I can give you though is the basics to setting this up. So in this case, your payee name is gonna be what they're gonna write on your Amazon check or, um, yeah, this is actually only for checks. If you're doing direct deposit, which I believe is only available in the US and uh, possibly some areas in the UK. Me being in Canada, they have to send me checks, so I cannot get direct deposit. Um, so you just fill in this information. So I'm just going to put in some random information here. Um, Okay, and then you're gonna hit next, which is your next uh, section there. Oh, and they want you to put in a phone number, so. Okay, great, so this is the next page, which is your website profile. Now, uh, some of the most important things that I can kind of highlight here, uh, where it says, what is the name of your website? This is going to generate what they call your unique associates ID, which is uh, basically your affiliate ID, which will be used for your affiliate link. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video again, your affiliate link is a unique link created by the vendor, in this case, Amazon, which tracks uh, customers coming in. So if a customer is to click that link with your unique associates or affiliate ID, Amazon knows that it was you that sent the traffic and therefore should pay you out the commission. Um, now, some of you may not have a website yet. Uh, it's my strong suggestion to go and get a website. Um, it'll just make things easier, and it's a skill that I think everybody should eventually learn how to do. Um, so if you don't have a website, uh, you may have to pause this video and go and make one. If you already have one, great. Um, what I don't suggest doing, even though this is what I did when I originally started and when I didn't have a website, was I just created a random name and I went back in and changed it after. Um, it's completely possible. Again, my strongest suggestion is that you do and actually get a website, but uh, 
you know, if you don't have one, go ahead and just create a random name for now. So in this case, I'm just going to call it uh, Dewan Affiliate or something like that. Uh, again, you would just put your something like this. This is actually a really terrible name, but that's fine. <laughs> Uh, what is your website about? Um, okay, so you're going to want to scroll down and fill in all this information to the best of your abilities. Um, so I go primary topic, we'll just do sports, fitness, outdoors. And then what type of items do you want to intend on listing on your website? So again, we'll just say in my case of this random website, I'm actually going to change the name to um, health and fitness, Oops, fitness world, just to make it a bit easier. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do like health and beauty, sports and outdoors. And then what type of site is your website? So uh, for, I would say, 95% of people out there, it's either going to be a content or niche website. And these are websites that are specifically created for a specific sub-niche. And a niche is just like a topic or a category. Um, or it could be a blog. So I'm just going to put a blog for now. Um, again, this is all information that you can change after. And then how do you drive your traffic to your website? Um, now, again, for most beginners, it's going to be probably SEO blogs and social networks. Uh, SEO being search engine optimization. Uh, social networks, things like YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and then blogs, um, obviously blogs. And how else do you monetize your website? Uh, for most people that are just getting started, they won't have anything, so you can just do Amazon Associates is the only way. How do I usually build links? Um, and again, this can be uh, changed in the future. I would probably just put blog editor, so something like WordPress as an example, which is one of the biggest used blogging platforms uh, in the world. How many unique visitors? We'll just say less than 500. What is your primary reason for joining Amazon uh, to monetize my site, so to make money on my website? And then how did you hear about us? We'll just say word of mouth. So then all you do is you put in the captcha here. Oops. And hit next. Okay, and then the final step is that you're going to enter your telephone number, and then Amazon will uh, actually call you and uh, you'll get a PIN number. Now this is a completely automated system, so you will get a phone call, I think within the next you know, two to three minutes after you enter this. Because this is a completely fake uh, identity that I'm making, what I'm gonna do is actually uh, cancel, log into an account that uh, I've just opened, and, uh, and then show you guys how to actually get your affiliate link. All right, great. So we're actually logged into a brand new account that I created uh, last week. And uh, just want to draw your attention to a few things here. Um, and funny enough, uh, I've actually made one sale last week, um, putting up just one affiliate link. So if you scroll down here, just so you can kind of get an idea, I've, uh, I've actually posted the affiliate link for a book called Crush It, which is uh, by an author named Gary Vaynerchuk. Highly recommend the book. Um, and all I did was I posted the link in, uh, you know, either in a blog post or in a forum. I actually can't remember now. And somebody decided to click my link. The book was eight dollars and forty nine cents, and uh, and I made thirty four cents commission. It looks like they actually accidentally purchased two and returned one. So um, yeah, so they bought it for eight forty nine. Amazon gave me a four percent commission on that. And, uh, and I made a total of $0.34 cents for posting a link. Now again, the beauty of this is, is that link will then live forever online. So if somebody else comes across my link uh, and decide to buy it, um, I get a commission. And the beauty of uh, the Amazon Associates program is if that person decided to buy Crush It and then decided to buy a $1,000 uh, camera at the same time, I would actually get the commission on that $1,000 camera too. 
So you'd be surprised the type of uh, commissions that you'll get that are actually quite random. But because you gave uh, Amazon this traffic, uh, they give you credit for the entire purchase. So uh, just a nice kind of side note there. So uh, I'm going to go back to the home page here. Uh, just give me one second here. OK, great. So this is the home page. So now on to the, uh, I guess, the most important part here. And is it how do you find a product and how do you get the affiliate link? So you've got two options. You can either browse for a product. Um, you know, let's just say you're in the health and wellness uh, industry. And um, let me just see here. Or even pet supplies. You could just click pet supplies and start kind of going down the categories and find something that you like to offer. Or the other option is you can just literally search for a product. So um, let me just think of something as an example. Let's just say, um, let's say camera bag. I hit go. What will happen is Amazon will then search their categories for everything that matches to my search term camera bag. So, um, I don't know, let's just say this one here. This one looks like a, a nice bag, it's $29. Um, all you have to do is hit get link here. And then this is how Amazon gives you your affiliate link. Um, now you've got a couple options on how to actually post your affiliate link. Um, you've got text and image. You've got a text only link. You've got an image only link. And then add to widgets, uh, like adding to your website. Um, you can actually fill this out with a bunch of different products. Now for those of you that are not extremely computer savvy, um, I'm actually going to highlight the specific affiliate link here. So this section from here to here is your actual affiliate link. Um, if you look up here, uh, my affiliate user ID is ProLIFHAC20. If you look in the link here, you can see where it says tag equals ProLIFHAC20. So this Amazon's actually generated this. So all a customer would really have to do is click this specific link. So if you're embedding it in, say, your website, um, you could do it this way. Copying this entire uh, kind of top to bottom here, this is called HTML, which is uh, a web coding language. So you could literally copy this entire thing, post it onto, say, your WordPress website, and, uh, and it shows up on your website. Uh, what I'll do in a later video is actually go through the process of capturing this affiliate link here, posting it to WordPress, and having it live. But for all intents and purposes of this video, this is the link that you really want. Uh, so you know what, I'm just going to copy this. And I'll just paste it into my browser. So we'll just pretend that I'm a customer. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll actually go back to projectlifehacker.com. And I'll just show you this in action. So this is my how to make money online for beginners. If you haven't checked out this video, please go do. And I'm just going to scroll down because I do have an affiliate link in here as a uh, as an example. So again, this is Tim Ferriss's book, The Four Hour Work Week. I highly recommend it. Um, so what I've done is I've actually posted an affiliate link, both an image and text. So, um, you know, I did something similar to this, a text and image, copied this entire um, HTML code, pasted it on my website. Now, if somebody was to, let's say, see this, let's say I did a book review on this book, and I say, yeah, I highly recommend that you uh, check this book out, the customer says, okay, great, let me go take a peek. They can either click on the image or they can click on this hyperlink here. And when I click it, great, it takes me to the four hour work week. Uh, in this top URL, it actually has my affiliate link in it. The customer can see the book, you know, they can see that it's got over 3,000 reviews. Um, you know, it sells for 
customer can then add it to cart. Uh, I will get, I believe, 4% on this book. Uh, don't quote me on that. But that's it, it's that simple. Amazon takes care of all the inventory, they take care of all of the shipping, they take care of collecting payment. Um, it's a fantastic business model, highly recommended for anybody. Um, so hopefully this kind of gave you a general overview on setting up affiliate programs for Amazon specifically. Uh, in future videos, what I'll do is I'll kind of search the internet with you, show you a couple websites, uh, show you what to look for and how to actually find affiliate programs on other people's websites. Um, and again, if you like this video, please hit subscribe on YouTube. Uh, let's me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, and as well as if you haven't checked it out, www.projectlifehacker.com. Uh, I'm going to have a ton of more content on uh, internet marketing, making money online, just like this. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the next video, guys. So thanks so much. Talk to you soon.